I'm Phil Guyman. When I was a pro cyclist, I would travel to some of the most beautiful places on earth and then race right past it and have dinner at the hotel. Now that I'm retired, I'm going back to do it right. But I still love to suffer, so I'm training hard and staying fit. This is Worst Retirement Ever. So we came all the way to Perth to pick up this bike from Nove. Um, when I learned that was unnecessary, they offered to, to show me the site, show me around Perth. Um, it's a cool cycling community. So far, I'm, I'm enjoying Australia. The, they speak English, but, um, but it's a different kind of, like all the words are different. Same language, all the words are different. The, uh, the, the trunk of a car is a boot. The, uh, the, your girlfriend is your missus. Uh, a cigarette is a what? I'm not, I'm not saying that. Anyway, um, the, they drive on the left side of the road here, so that's going to be a little bit scary, but I'm sure the drivers are super polite and, and friendly to cyclists. Actually, the drivers are dicks. They're absolute dicks here. Be warned about that. We're, we're in Matt Fulton, CEO of Boss. What's your title? Uh, CEO of West Cycle. CEO of West Cycle, so the governing body of, of this part of Australia. Um, tell us a little bit about the bike riding in Perth, the bike pass, all that stuff. We've got an awesome uh, bike holder over here in WI. We've got the highest per capita of uh, cyclists of any state in Australia. So about 12 months ago, we introduced the law that cars had to pass with more than a metre away from cyclists. Yep. That's improved things, but there's still some aggro out there. It's it's a notch more hostile than I'm used to in the States. Just one right. notch, not two notches, but it's, yeah, it's a little bit, yeah. it's kind of the south at its worst. Yeah, I mean, we certainly still have a lot that we need to do to, to get right over here. Upside, there's no guns here, so you can flip them the bird and they're not going to shoot you, which we can't say in the States. Just the water bottle that gets thrown at you when you're along, but... I can handle a water bottle. <laughs> I can handle a beer, you know, I can handle whatever, Foster's, a can of Vegemite. Uh, just don't shoot me. Okay, cool. Cool. <laughs> We got a lot of short hills up here. What's the longest climb around here? Seven, eight kilometers. If you if you stretch it out a longer period, probably maximum ten minutes though. Only like three or four percent. Ten minutes. That's just when we're getting started. <laughs> All right. So this is a uh, outside of Perth, just a little bit outside. What's it like? An hour bike ride? Yeah, probably an hour. Yeah, on the bike. There's John Forest National Park. This is the next ride. This is sort of the hilly stretch of Perth. We got a nice view of the city back there. And and our guide for this ride will be Guy Kalma. Kalma? Yeah. Is that what I say? Hallelujah. Yeah, Close enough. <laughs> so um, John Forest, where we are now, is sort of I'd call it nearly the central point of our hills. Mm -hmm. So we've got a bit bit south, bit north, still of hills to come or to do. Okay. And all our, all our hills are connected through the top. Mm -hmm. And but you can enter from different points from underneath from the city so you use the bike path network to get out of here yeah it's nice we're, we're right out in the country it's quiet as hell so this road right now is closed to cars that's not normal though no no normally obviously it's not normal because they've been doing donuts out here is that what we call we call them donuts here too oh yeah another... burnouts donuts burnouts okay you said this is also a place for kids to make out yeah so the young kids people i just come up here and um mm -hmm. and, and you know who love making up and well, up here we just met no offense <laughs> Um, but I do appreciate the tour. All right, yeah, let's go right. Okay, and who is John Forrest? I actually don't know who John Forrest is. I, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> hey! First kangaroo sighting! All right, so now that we've seen a kangaroo, this is how you're supposed to do it here. So now I have a pouch. <laughs> Wait, how do I zip it? No, it's a bad idea, it's a bad idea, okay. Hell yeah, we saw our first kangaroo. High five. That was a no-handed high five. Be proud of me. Be impressed. And we entered the dirt. We're gonna get my new bike. It's gonna get all dirty. And here we have a warning for this high-speed, dangerous bike path descent. Uh, I gotta be real careful. This is supposed to be technical and and, and high speed. So hands on the bars. All right. So now we're here in Swan Valley. Uh, what goes on here? Um, Swan Valley is known for its wine, food, and bush doves. What's a bush dove? Bush doves is a party. People set up outside in the bush and people come and have, spend all night. So, so it means party? Yeah, I don't really know what it means. Well, bush, I know that means bush, like a Bush, doof, 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 Okay, like okay. music, you know? Listen, I'm jet lagged. <laughs> I'm not partying right now. I want to go to bed early. That's right. I guess we get some food then, eh? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> So for lunch, we're at Feral Brewing Company, and I ordered the beer tasting tray, which was more than I expected. So the day's about to get interesting. Well, that's one. Interesting. The menu here also has cigars. And then 
dessert thing. Boris Cigars is on there. I can't decide if that's classy or opposite of classy. But there we go. This is this is lunch. on the wrong side here. I can't do this. We know how to ride bikes. We also know how to live. So we took a little trip on a boat to a rottenest island. Originated from the, when the Dutch first settled here. They saw lots of uh, quokkas. Quokkas so they came back as a uh, rat's nest. So rot, I guess, is rat in German. Yep. And it's been translated to rat nest island. Let's go vacation. You said this was a prison? It was a prison. Prison back isn't, in the early days. Isn't it's all of Australia a prison colony? A convict island with another convict island just off the side. Okay. I guess we're famous for our very dangerous animals. Great white sharks are pretty scary. Yeah. Thing. I'm, uh, little blurring octopuses, they're probably the size of your thumb. Everything probably. here will kill you. That's what I've been explaining. Everywhere I go, they're like, watch out for this animal that will kill you. Pet the rats? Well, you can pet the rats. Yeah, let's so go let's, go, rat. let's go find ourselves a quokka, um, get a selfie, okay. and then get back to the boat and eat some crayfish. Perfect. The other exotic wildlife here on the island is the, the wild pink flamingo. I've seen one of those before. All right, so we're uh, we're looking in the woods. We're burning my feet. I think I stepped on some snakes uh, trying to find this quokkas, quokkas, something like that. And it's right here in the where everybody's trying to eat. There's a giant rat. All right, I should wash my hands now, and then we'll go eat. Now they don't seem like intelligent creatures, but apparently they can read. Can we get a selfie? Mind if I take? A You're supposed to ask before you take a selfie. That is the cutest rat I've ever seen. But it's not a rat technically, it's a marsupial. It can't be both. So you're not a rat, I'm sorry, that's rude. Yeah. So on the boat, we got a little, we got a little food, and we got some company from some dudes showed up on jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal. Australian rules football is a thing. It's not rugby, it's a huge deal here. And, uh, and these are the champions. And they're gonna show me how to eat crayfish. We got a nice, we nice crayfish eggs. here called a rotness. Oh, it goes on the bun. All right. Yeah. It's a bread thing. Oh, I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna try it like this. Oh, I'm gonna ruin it with bread. Oh yeah, that's good. How does it compare to lobster? It's Probably. much better than lobster. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a big Yeah. Right. It's like a better it's at it. It's got an emu on it, so we can trust it. Emu. 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 And uh, the water is amazingly blue and clear. I hope it's not cold. Are there sharks? All right, so I couldn't leave the island without going for one KOM. Let's do it. <laughs> He definitely did. Oh, there's a shot! Woo! <laughs> That's not funny. The rest of it was funny. I'm glad I have my Alright, so we're at the top of Mandarin Weir Road. We just did a little recon, and I'm here with, with Lloyd. I'll be my little lead out today. I say, little, how old are you, Lloyd? Good day. You're not that little, but you're young. Um, Lloyd's gonna get me some speed in the bot, and I'm gonna do my own solo effort. What am I up against? So the KOM is by the big man, Brian Brown. And he is me. Yeah. He, uh, he yelled at me on the group ride the other day. I'm six minutes, five seconds. He got it with a five man lead out. Ben O'Connor, Tim Sega, Jackson Willoughby. The lead out crew. It's a bunch just, of world tour. Just guys. finished it at the end. We're, we're up against a headwind today. You know, just one man lead out. It's steep at the bottom, and then, well, it's like four or five percent at the bottom, and there's a dead flat bit where I'm going to hemorrhage time in this headwind, and then it kind of kicks at the end where hopefully I won't be dead. I won't get to recover in the head like I want to. I'm feeling good, I got my new light bike, and we're gonna go for it.
you know, a bunch of world tour guys pulling each other and the wind picked up. So I, I did a good effort, I just died. Uh, I didn't have it here. But uh, I gotta come back, Perth, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it keeps really well. It's always a good sign for our tickets. Does it taste good though? Good. Yeah. I'm gonna dip this because it's too dry. Sorry, it's really hot. Okay, don't get it thrown on me. It's good. Perth, it's been fun, but uh, it's time to go. Next video is coming from Adelaide. Uh, let's do it. Let's get out of here. Can I drive? Sure. Can I try. Uh, other side, buddy. We're off to a bad start. Nope. Seatbelt's over there. The key goes in there. That's the same. That's not. Okay. Indicators so the light on. Light yep. is this. There we go. That okay. The lights on the. Yeah. Yep. I got this. I got this. <laughs> it's your car, man. <laughs> Turn those things off. <laughs> All right. See you in Adelaide. Yeah.